I, I think as the world has gotten better, people have be, become more interested in what makes life worth living. So when life is a veil of tears, and there are so many factors that cripple life, then I think it's perfectly natural to have a psychology of defense and damage and what's wrong. But we've grown up in an era of great prosperity in which every statistic I know, literacy, malnutrition, water, longevity, education, have all gotten better. And I think in times of prosperity, people ask what makes life worth living. And I think that's probably at the background of positive, of why positive psychology has su surprisingly become so popular. It's very interesting that Denmark has the highest well-being in the world. So people like Hans have made a, an inroad into trying to both understand that and bring it uh, to education.